Hello, I'm Alan Fine, and I'm on Uniworld's Joie de Vivre, its newest and arguably most luxurious ship traveling from Paris to Normandy on an eight-day excursion. And this is Insider Travel Report. So my name is Valérie, I'm French, I, I am the, uh, the cruise manager on board the Joie de Vivre of Uniworld. Um, so yes, the first tour was uh, in Giverny, in Giverny the idea is to go to Monet's garden, uh, which is the house where Claude Monet, the impressionist painter, lived for like 43 years and he created next to his house the most beautiful and luxuriant gardens with all the plants and all the flowers, all the trees that he wanted to paint. Uh, he created a pond where he uh, actually planted the uh, water lilies that he also painted, so it's the most beautiful gardens uh, that you can imagine, yeah. The house is also beautiful. It's the, it was actually his family house where he lived uh, exactly half of his life, the second half of his life with his wife and, and children. We have very, very good guides who are local guides, which is very important, of course. The only thing was the uh, poultry, where he was... Uh... The, uh, the great thing is that we're using an audio device, so that the, the, the guide has a microphone and all the guests have a little receiver. Uh, in other words, you don't have to stay just glued to your guide, you can wander around, uh, take your time, and you still hear the commentary of your guide, uh, even if you're a little bit further away. <laughs> Uh, we have two ways to get there, either the regular way which is a coach ride uh, to uh, Monet's Garden, it's a very short ride, it's about 15-20 minutes, or we can also do it with a bike ride, uh, which is quite nice because you bike along the Seine River and uh, it's a very easy bike ride uh, with very beautiful houses and gardens all along the way, so it's a really nice ride, easy, safe and, uh, and very beautiful. So the next port was uh, Les Andelis, which is a very pretty little town. And uh, from Les Andelis, we actually hiked to the ruins of the castle of uh, Richard Lionheart, a castle called Chateau Gaillard, uh, that was built in the end, very end of the 12th century, um, because he wanted to protect his region and the city of, uh, of Rouen, which was part of Normandy, that was his land, uh, from the aspirations of the French king. Um, and um, it was probably the most remarkable military architecture of the 12th century. Um, because he, he actually built it on the plan of the, the crack of the chevaliers that he saw in Syria, uh, which was very, very hard to take. Uh, he thought that Chateau Gaillard would protect Rouen and, uh, and, and Normandy. Uh, unfortunately, it fell to the hands of the French king after four years, six years, six years. Um, but he didn't live to see that, he, he, he died before. Uh, anyway, the, the ruins of Chateau Gaillard are fantastic, they're on top of a hill and they're overlooking the meanders of the Seine River. Uh, you can see the, uh, the ship, you can see the, the, the river and the clay, uh, uh, limestone cliffs all around, it's absolutely beautiful setting there also, yeah. Next day we are in uh, Rouen, which is the capital of Normandy, beautiful city. Um, the, this is the place where uh, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake, uh, not the greatest part of the history of the city obviously, uh, but that city has retained a fantastic medieval district. We have about uh, 2,000 timber frame houses uh, left, so it's a beautiful, beautiful city centre. Uh, we see the old market square where Joan of Arc was burned at the stake. Uh, on that market square we also have uh, uh, the restaurant called La Couronne, which is the oldest inn in France, it dates back to 1345. And um, there's a beautiful, beautiful church also with ma most fantastic stained glass windows. And uh, then we see the Cathedral of Rouen, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's uh, from the uh, 12th to 16th century. The facade of the cathedral is just like lace, absolutely beautiful. And um, it was painted by many, many of the Impressionist painters, among which, of course, Claude Monet, who made a great series of paintings of that cathedral. 
that restaurant La Couronne, which is in Rouen also, is uh, the restaurant where Julia Child had her first encounter with, uh, with the French gastronomy and the French food. Of course, so it's a very, very famous restaurant, uh, not only because it's a very old institution, but also because that's where Julia Child started uh, her relationship, her love relationship with the French cuisine. And, uh, Uniword actually um, has something that the other lines don't do when, we, when it comes to uh, Rouen. Uh, first of all, we always reserve a table for our guests uh, who would like to have lunch at La Couronne. Uh, and we also sometimes on some cruises do a little gourmand, gourmet tea time in the afternoon for whoever wish to join. From uh, Rouen again, uh, we do the big day. That is really the big day, uh, going to the uh, D-Day landing sites. Um, we have three different options, which are of course all dedicated to the Operation Overlord, uh, but seen from different perspectives, whether it's American, Canadian or a more general option. And then we do go to Omaha, uh, which is where the largest Infantry troops, uh, American infantry troops uh, landed on the uh, 6th of June 1944. Uh, we visit the uh, memorial uh, of uh, Omaha as well as the cemetery of, of uh, Omaha. And we do go to the beach uh, to see a new memorial. And on the beach, again, something that is done only by Uniworld is that we have a little ceremony with a trumpet player and, uh, and things like that. So that's something quite special also. One thing that also Uniworld and only Uniworld is doing on that day is that when we get to the memorial to the American cemetery, we give to each and every single guest a uh, long stem white rose that they can uh, put on any of the uh, headstones to pay their respect to a soldier in particular or any of those, uh, those poor boys who actually lost their lives uh, there. I hope this gave you a very good overview on what's to be offered to your clients when you send them on Uniworld's new ship, the Joie de Vivre. This is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.